movie Goosebumps goes through reviews. I'm Goosebumps now. And this is Slappy. Why, thank you, slave. Why don't I tell these nice ghouls and goblins what we're doing here today? But isn't that my job? Silence! We are here today to discuss a very important piece of literature. Historical literature, if you will. Goosebumps! But to be more specific, the very first in our long list of frightful reads. Give me a second here, Slaps, I'll get the book. Scary stories to tell in the dark. That is not what we ordered. Let's, uh, let's try that one more time. There we go. Thank you, Magic Coffin. Okay, so here we have it. Welcome to Dead House. Uh, fun fact, actually. Uh, the Goosebumps series was originally intended to be a series for girls. <laughs> and here I thought Stein was just being sensitive. Oh. I honestly enjoyed this one. Alright, Slaps, without further ado, I'm going to read the tagline on the back of our book here, and we're going to get into the review. Look alive. Amanda and Josh think the old house they just moved into is weird, spooky, possibly haunted. And the town of Dark Falls is pretty strange, too. But their parents don't believe them. You'll get used to it, they say. Go out and make some new friends. So Amanda and Josh do. But these new friends are not exactly what their parents had in mind. Because they want to be friends. Forever. Reader beware. You're in for a scare. It's Goosebumps! Well, our story takes place in Dark Falls. It's centered around the two main characters of the book. Josh and Amanda. Which they find themselves moving to the dead house, which was supposedly inherited by the family from a great uncle on the father's side. Uh, so it's a family of five moving over there, if you count the dog. I don't. <laughs> so you get your standard horse scenarios. They set you up with a lot of the run-of-the-mill uh, cliffhangers, your um, basic horse scenario where you hear a noise or a door rattle or something you're not sure of, and the chapter ends. And when the cliffhanger takes you to the next chapter, it was the dog, it was the wind, it was the house settling into the ground because it's uh, 150 years old. House actually isn't 150, disclaimer, I am just throwing a number out there. Um, but I think Stein did a really good job in the, the book describing how dark Dark Falls was. There was a lot of shade, and it just was a very gloomy area. I think he did a really good job also describing our Victorian manor, which is known as the Dead House. Um, you really can get a picture of what he was trying to put down. And I think uh, Jacobus here did a really good job with the cover art capturing what Stan was trying to put down for us in our heads. Um, I really did enjoy the imagery he's better to paint in my mind with the idea of what the dead house should look like. So the dog pee, he decides to book it. Gone. He takes off. He decides he's gonna just, I'm done. I hate this place. I hate you guys. I can't believe you brought me here. Wolf, I'm a dog. I'm gone. So Petey takes off. Runs and runs and runs. They chase him. They chase him all the way to the graveyard in Dark Falls. And as they're chasing him, you get a lot of imagery about, again, how dark the town is and how old set it looks and just kind of like it's almost frozen in time. And from the graveyard, it moves on to they're starting to settle into the house. The moving truck hasn't shown up. They don't have all their stuff. Amanda has a frightful... Well, hold on now, Goosebumps, now. I think the word you're looking for is delightful. <laughs> I crack myself up. Dream about a dead girl giving a gravely warning. No pun intended. Uh, and this dream tra uh, transitions us into the next day, where the kids wake up and decide they're going to venture out into Dark Falls. And whilst they explore, they run into a pack of children who slowly encircle them in a very creepy manner. So there you have it. There was the lost footage, the failed pilot, if you will, the remnants of a project I had hoped to start and never got to finish. I don't know, watching it just kind of makes me feel somber, but I told you I'd upload it if you guys wanted it, so there it is. Um, I hope to do something in the future reviewing them. I don't know if I'll put all the work into that again, because that would just left me feeling sad once it got messed up. I don't know, maybe it's my own laziness. 
You guys tell me. Tell me what you thought. Either way, there it is. So, with that being said, Goosebumps Now's out.